Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to just show you my new Raspberry Pi powered Baby Bar Top Arcade. So this is the Raspberry Pi Baby Bar Top. Super small. I got a few items to show you a little size comparison here. Here's a 12 ounce can of soda right next to the arcade. I also had a Killer Instinct cartridge laying around. I figured I'd show you a little size comparison here because a lot of people have held one of these cartridges. So as you can see, it's a pretty small bar top arcade. There are six action buttons. There's also a start and select. But for my joystick, I actually chose to use an analog stick because I couldn't find a joystick that's small enough. The analog stick is set up just like a joystick. It's not really using any analog inputs. It has up, down, left, right, and you also have your down, left, down, right, things like that. So it works just like a real joystick, but it does feel a little odd. But it does work great for a small bar top like this. And like I mentioned, I just couldn't find a joystick that's small enough. If you do know of something, please let me know in the comments because I would love to swap it out. But for now, the analog will have to work. I am running RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus inside of here, the newest Raspberry Pi 3. Handling all the inputs and sound is the Adafruit Arcade Bonnet. This is an awesome little arcade hat for the Raspberry Pi. It's easy to program. I have all eight buttons hooked up to it, plus a 3 watt 8 ohm speaker underneath. The speaker actually sounds really good and it gets really loud. For the case, I'm using a Nintendo Switch Arcade. Now you can get these on Amazon for about $13. You just put it together with little rubber bands. You can buy all of these parts on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description. I also have a build video on the way. I just have to get everything in order. I did document the full build, but I figured I'd make a video and show you this thing in action. The only downside to this whole thing is actually the case itself. It's made out of a really thick cardboard, but I do have a local company that has laser cutters. I've contacted them. They're actually cutting me 10 of these out. I'm going to put a couple of these kits together and possibly give them away on the channel. So let's see this thing in action. It does have a 7 inch 1024 by 800 screen. It looks pretty good in person. I'm not sure if the camera's going to do it justice or not. Let's start a game. Now one of the main things I built this for was little arcade games, but I'm going to test out FBA and I want to play some Marvel vs. Capcom here. We'll get right in here. It's going to load up for us. I want to see if I can pull off some special moves with this analog stick. Throw a couple coins in here. Yeah, maybe one more. And we should be able to start the game up. I'm going to choose my favorite characters here, War Machine and Ryu. Like I mentioned, the analog stick does take a little bit of getting used to, but the 16mm buttons actually feel really decent. They're a little harder than I want them to be. You have to press on them a little harder than you would a regular Sanwa button. But for being so small, this is what I was able to use. I was going to go with 24mm Sanwa buttons, but there's just not enough room on this front panel here for six buttons at 24mm. So I went with these 16mm buttons, and they work decently. The analog stick as pretty much a D-pad is actually working out pretty well. I'm able to pull off these special moves pretty easily. It's not bad. I miss one every once in a while, but I'm sure I could get used to it. I do have some acrylic cases coming and wood. Now I'm really into wood, so that's what I want to use, but we won't have any flex here on the front panel when you try to push these buttons in. Should make life a lot easier. Overall, I think this is a really cool little project. I will have a video coming up this week, but I'm going to leave links in the description if you want to get started on ordering everything you need. It does require a bit of soldering. You do have to solder the GPIO adapter onto the arcade bonnet. That way you can slide it onto your Raspberry Pi 3 or your Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now, I didn't want to go with micro USB to power this whole thing, so what I'm using is a 4 amp power supply with a 2.5 millimeter barrel jack. Since the screen and the Raspberry Pi run on 5 volts, you can use a battery bank to power this with. And the screen does come with one of these barrel jacks to USB. So you can power this whole thing with a battery bank like this. This one actually does put out 3 amps, so it's sufficient for the screen and the Pi itself. And it works great. Let's take a look at how this thing's put together. So over on the side here, I have my Raspberry Pi 3B+. I do have the USBs 
up against the back panel because I'm not going to be using them. I just use Wi-Fi and the arcade bonnet. You could turn this around or mount it in a different position. The arcade bonnet is mounted on the top of the Raspberry Pi. For the screen, I'm using a GeekPi 5V 7-inch 1024x800 display. It does have a control board here, so you can turn it on and off. You can also control the color and brightness. For the power, I do have a 25 millimeter barrel jack, and I have the Raspberry Pi and the screen connected to this barrel jack. So as soon as you plug it in, everything comes on. You could add a switch if you'd like to. A 3 watt, 8 ohm speaker here, and I have all of my 8 buttons connected to the arcade bonnet that's connected to the Raspberry Pi. The start and select down there. The analog stick and the speaker are also connected to the arcade bonnet. Adafruit does offer a really easy to use script to get all that up and running. But I think it's pretty cool. I know it's really small, it's not very practical, but it's an awesome little project to make on the weekend. Now this here, with some soldering skills and the tools, you can make this in about an hour, seriously. It's really not that hard and I will have a video coming out this week on how to build one. But like I mentioned, all the links for everything you need are in the description if you want to get started on buying everything. There's a few issues that some people are going to run into while making one of these, like drilling the holes for the buttons themselves and the analog stick. Some people just won't have a drill available to them. The other issue will be soldering the headers onto the arcade bonnet. Now one thing I really thought about doing was creating kits with everything pre-soldered, pre-drilled, along with a better case than this switch case here either wood or acrylic. I do have a local laser cutter that can help me out here. If you're interested in something like that, please let me know in the comments below. I just think it's such a cool little project. I can't really let it go to waste. Now, on the other hand, I don't want a lot of people getting mad at me because I'm trying to sell them something, but it actually helped the community out. If I could pre-solder everything, pre-drill everything, it'd make it much easier for everybody to be able to build one of these. Now, it wouldn't come with any ROMs pre-included, and it actually wouldn't even come with the operating system. You would have to download the OS. I could build a little image that anybody could download. Just flash it to your SD card. It'll be ready and set up for the screen and controls. If there's enough people interested in something like this, I could definitely get something going. But in the meantime, if you have access to a soldering iron and some power tools, be my guest. You can build one now. Pretty much everything I used here can be gotten on Amazon, and I'll leave links in the description. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I will have a build video coming up very shortly. And like I mentioned, if you're interested in buying a full-blown kit like this with everything ready to go, let me know in the comments below. Like always, thanks for watching.